During Whole Cake Island, Big Mom states that had she managed to ally with the giants of Elvap, she would have been able to defeat all of the other Yonko and become Pirate King. Based on recent revelations in One Piece, it is actually possible that Red Hair Shanks has succeeded where Big Mom failed. This video will go over the idea of Shanks having forged an alliance between the Red Hair Pirates and the Giants by marrying into Elbaf royalty. Shanks' apparent connection to Elbaf seemingly goes back several years. In Chapter 1 of One Piece, 12 years before the current events of the story, the Red Hair Pirates were already using a ship with a striking resemblance to those used by the Giants. Over 1000 chapters later, it is revealed that Shanks is old friends with the giant warrior pirates' captains, Dory and Brogy. As Dorian Brogy had been dueling even before Shanks was born, this would imply that Shanks at some point, perhaps when he was under Roger, met the two on Little Garden. Shanks' ties to Elbaf also seem to extend beyond just the giant warrior pirates, as Shanks shows concern about damaging the giant's homeland in his fight against Kid. Shanks is also idolized enough by the locals that some of them even want to join his crew. Further evidence of Shanks actually having a genuine alliance with the Giants is that he is able to dock a large fleet of ships off their coast. As Elbaf appears to be an isolated country like Wano, this would likely be something only an ally of the Giants could do. As it was established by Big Mom that the Giants are in the business of creating alliances through marriage, it would not be unreasonable for Shanks to have also used matrimony to create this potential alliance. In fact, this marriage might be a very recent occurrence in the story. In the cover story of chapter 838 and 837, Shanks' crew are seen celebrating a wedding on an unnamed island. The idea this video is going to explore is that this is in fact a wedding between the Giants and the Red Hair Pirates. If this were in fact the case, it would make sense chronologically. The proposed marriage between the Charlotte family and Elbaf happened around a decade ago. The Giants were clearly not allied with another pirate crew at this time if an alliance between them and the Big Mom pirates would have been possible. If Shanks were to ally with the Giants, it would make sense that it would happen after this period in time. However, what's important to note is that Shanks is not the groom in this cover story scene. We've seen before in the story that the grooms in One Piece are dressed very well for the occasion, usually in white. Shanks on the other hand is seen wearing his regular clothes during the wedding. Also, we can see people cheering behind Shanks, which would be odd if it was in fact his wedding. While Shanks is a handsome man and has already shown being attractive to female giants, it could simply be in his character for Shanks to stay single. Shanks is noted by himself to be very similar to Luffy, who shuns the idea of marriage or anything that would tie him down. Shanks might be similarly free-spirited and choose to stay single. Getting back to the topic of Shanks' core crew, Lucky Roo is noticeably out of view from this cover story, so the wedding could actually be his. As Roo is noted to be one of Shanks' top men by the marines, a marriage between him and the giants could well be sufficient for an alliance. For example, when the Sun Pirates joined the Big Mom Pirates, it was Aladdin, not Jinbei, who married into the Charlotte family. Another thing to make note of is that Roo is one of the tallest members of Shanks' crew, perhaps making for a healthier marriage with a giant. Coincidentally, when Prince Loki of Elba fell in love with one of Big Mom's daughters, it was also to a stocky individual in Lola. This brings up the point about the identity of the bride if she is indeed a giant. If Prince Loki is any reference, the royal family of Elbaf could be based on the gods of Norse mythology. There are several goddesses in the Norse pantheon that could serve as inspiration for an Elbaf princess. One interesting possibility is Freya, who is a goddess of love and was often associated with marriage. Freya is also the goddess of war. As Lucky Roo is the combatant of the Red Hair Pirates, this similarity could actually make for a good match. As a side note, the groom in the cover story could also be Lime Juice or Hongo as they are also not shown in the panels. This video more so focused on Ru because of his relatively bigger prominence in the story so far. Shanks making this kind of a political alliance could also be well in his character. While we do not know much about him, Shanks at many times has shown himself to be quite shrewd. While one might have initially viewed him as being very casual compared to the other Yonko, this is actually not the case and Shanks very much acts the part of an emperor. He is shown to have both fleets and territory under his control just like his peers. It also would be in character for him to be creating alliances like the rest of the Yonko. Shanks has at many points shown that he prefers to negotiate things out, whether it be with Whitebeard, Sengoku or the Gorosei. 
The Gorosei even note that Shanks prefers solving things by means other than violence, which would be in line with him making alliances. To clarify, this does not necessarily mean that Shanks would force Lakiru or any of his crew into a marriage, more so that he wouldn't mind using the opportunity to better befriend the giants. The prospect of Shanks allying with the giants would be major for the power balance of the One Piece world. As stated at the start of the video, Elbaf is considered the strongest nation in the world and Big Mom thought she could defeat all of the other Yonko, including a younger and healthier Whitebeard, with their assistance. The Red Hair Pirates are also arguably the strongest pirate crew on the seas. When describing Shanks' subordinates, the marines considered them a bigger threat than any of the other Yonko crews at the time. Shanks himself has also demonstrated that he personally might be a step above his peers, as he had a considerably easier time with Kid and Killer than either Kaido or Big Mom. In light of this, an alliance between the Giants and the Red Hair Pirates could well overshadow any other faction in the New World. The reason why Shanks would amass such a force could tie into his desire to find the One Piece. From his time under Roger, Shanks knew that both Kaido and Big Mom possessed road pony glyphs that are necessary for one to journey to Laugh Tale. An alliance with the Giants could also help in this regard, as Elbaf is the last bastion of Ohara's knowledge on the ancient history. If you yourself are interested in uncovering hidden knowledge, you should take a rubbing of the subscribe stone and see if you can find your way to the channel. Getting back to Shanks, he could simply be preparing for the upcoming threats he sees in the world of pirates. We know that Shanks has been wary of Blackbeard for years at this point and could have considered allying with the Giants to be necessary to counteract Teach's rise. Also, while it could just be Blackbeard, it's possible that his preparedness is for whoever is the pirate Shanks was talking to the Gorosei about. There is also a chance that this is all for the sake of Luffy. In Chapter 1, Luffy promised Shanks that he would end up surpassing the Red Hair Pirates. Shanks has since then been waiting for Luffy in the New World. As Shanks at the end of the Wano arc revealed that he too wants to find the One Piece, it could be that he has been waiting years to compete with Luffy over who gets the treasure. Shanks allying with the Giants would certainly make things more challenging for the Straw Hats if they were to clash with the Red Hair Pirates as Luffy desires. While this would likely be more of a competition than an all-out war, from what we know, the Red Hair Pirates and the Giants should be far greater of an obstacle than any the Straw Hats have encountered in the past. The plot going this way could also finally allow for Luffy to get a chance to have a Giant vs Giant fight. Ever since NES Lobby, Luffy has been incorporating gigantism into his fighting style, finally culminating in Luffy turning himself into a giant with gear 5th against Kaido. Also, while they might be too weak for the stronger Straw Hats, Usopp might have become strong enough to be able to face off against his idols Dory and Proggy. While still not fully confirmed, an alliance between Shanks and the Kingdom of Elbaf could make the likely clash between the Red Hair Pirates and the Straw Hat Pirates far more tense and compelling. In this last part of the video, as is the style on this channel, I will bring up a few points as to why the alliance might not actually be a thing in the story. First is that during chapter 957 when Brand New is describing the Yonko and their territories, he fails to mention any alliance between Shanks and Elbaf. However, this does not completely debunk the idea, as Brand New was simply giving brief summaries of the emperors. For example, he also does not mention Kaido's alliance with Orochi or Wano being his territory. Another point is that Shanks' bounty could be too low for a man who is allied with the strongest nation in the world. There are two possible explanations for this. One is the general point about bounties being questionable. Shanks would not be the first character in the story whose bounty would be considerably undervalued. A more interesting explanation could be that this is actually intentional. We know that Shanks has some connection to the world government and the Gorosei. He could in theory have asked him to undervalue his bounty for the sake of keeping a low profile. After all, his recent performance against Kid and Killer could indicate that Shanks was much stronger than Kaido and Big Mom despite them holding higher bounties. We've also already seen other world government affiliates like Judge be able to modify bounties. A much better counter-argument against this idea is that Shanks in Chapter 1079 is leaving Elbaf. As Elbaf is likely the Straw Hat's next destination considering its proximity and ties to Robin, this could mean that Shanks is going to meet Luffy on another island. If the Red Hair Pirates are not going to be present during a potential Elbaf arc, it could make the idea of there being a formal alliance between them and the Giants obsolete. Still, the most convincing piece of evidence we have of Shanks never allying with the Giants comes from the Wibregard data books. In Wibregard Volume 1, it is revealed that Shanks' least favorite food is blueberries. 
Elbaf itself is based on Northern Europe, a region where blueberries are a major part of both the nature and the food. We've also already seen the presence of giant blueberries in Elbaf in chapter 1076. Thus, the idea of Shanks allying with such a country is extremely unlikely. If you've enjoyed this video, you should check out this other video on Shanks where I discuss what fighting style other than swordsmanship he could possess. Thanks for watching the video to the end.